Hello, we are going to go through, this is going to be a long tutorial, I think, but it's how to do a virtual flip-flop counter. It's pretty cool. So at this point, we're, I'm going to assume you can get into Tinkercad uh, using the code for our class. So over here, we want to change basic to all. And we'll need a bunch, number of different things here. First, we'll need a breadboard. I need a full-size one here, so... There we go. You bring that in. So I click on it once, come over, and then command click outside of it. Um, I am going to need my 7474. We're going to do the dual D flip flop. So you want to put it here so it straddles that break there. I'm going to put a, another one next to it because eventually we're going to do a three bit flip flop counter. Okay. Um, and then we are going to a few other things we need. Um, I always have trouble finding them. So type in power because I want a power supply right here. And I need a clock. Um, oh, it was under func sorry, function. Function generator. That'll give me my clock wave that I need okay and you can see this is how we're going to put the I'm going to move it out a little bit and let's see that's oh and I'm going to need get rid of that I'm doing this from the beginning here so um, I'm actually going to need a resistor in here at some point and once you put it in there I can change the resistance which I'm going to make it uh, oops, 220 ohms and then I need some LEDs here where's my LEDs right here LED LED oops and LED and I could just grab that and move it so that it goes in there okay now to do this you might be saying oh I can't remember where these wires go neither can I so first, let me get rid of this little thing here. Minimize this. There is my pinout diagram. Okay. So I can, and I can roll my scroll wheel to zoom in. Well, actually, I'm doing everything right here, so that's okay. So here is my pinout diagram. I'm hoping this is working right. So first thing we need to do is we need to power and ground our chips. So you just click in one of these. I'm going to... Um, well, that's not either one, so I'm going to escape. My uh, power is up here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put my powers at the top, and I'm going to change them to red so I can keep track of stuff. And then my ground is right here. I'm going to bring that down to the bottom. I'm going to make that black. You have the ability to pause whenever you want, so that will make, I can go pretty quickly here. You can see as things light up, I click somewhere out of it, and that becomes, you can, if you want to move a wire, I can click on the wire, and then I can grab this and drag it and put it where I want to. But that's where I want it right now. Okay. Um, now, because I'm starting off with just a regular uh, flip-flop counter, I'm going to do, if I come over here, all of my clear and my set, my presets and my clears, I need them to go to power. So that is, I can go from up here for these because get them out of the way. So I'm going to go here. And let's see, that is the third one in. So one, two, th three. Okay, that gets that one. I'm going to do this, just this one here. I'm going to do two bit to start here. So this one here needs to go up there power it remember they need to be powered unless I want to use them which we may try to do that one two three four and right there it gets a little full here but um, I think it'll work so I've now done all that so it's really not that hard to do I've done my preset I've done my clears um, and then my cue and I think I've forgotten already but I'm pretty sure this is this is the one 
on my LED that goes to ground. So I'm going to put that down here to ground. Make that black. And this other one, the little crooked part, that is my power. So that's going to come from my Q. We'll do this bottom one as my first bit. So Q is the second one over. So I'm going to go, go from here over to here. And we'll make that, well, that's going to be power. So I guess we can make that red. Um, then I have in the, I also have that here, I think. Down here, you'll see that when we're doing a D counter, the D has to connect to the not Q. So I am going to go from, get that. There's my D. There's my not Q. So I'm going to go from here to here. Uh, I'm going to leave that green so that's something different so that you can see the difference there. Okay, let's see if we can just get one to blink here first. So I need my uh, power is going to go up here. And my ground is going to go down here. Now I brought in, let me bring this over here. And I need to turn that, so I click this. I click this little guy right here, and that rotates my. I'm gonna put that all the way at the bottom. I'm gonna put this down at the ground. Make that black. Let's keep everything the way it should be. So that is gonna go red. Now, let me move this back over so we can see everything. Okay. So that's going to power in. But now I need my clock setting. So I'm going to run my ground down to my ground. And my clock input, I'm going to have it go to wait, what did I do here? So this was the ground, I'm trying to remember. And so this is going to be my clock, which is my third pin right here. And, oh, that's what this was. This needs to, oops, I remember. If I, if I just put this straight to ground, I've got too much power and it will overload it. So I'm going to go from here to here. Oh, dang it. I'm going to go here so that and let's see if so when you get it all the way you want it I click start simulation you'll notice it's not doing anything and that is I have to this is at one kilohertz holy cow I gotta drop it down to like yeah I can, you can go up to if you remember on multi-sim you had to go really low I can go to about three hertz. Okay, and I can actually make this a little smaller. I'm going to make it 180. It's a little brighter now. Okay, so there you go. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Holy cow, ain't that amazing? So, one bit counter. Let's stop our simulation and let's make a two bit counter. And basically, this, I'm going to ask you actually to make a three bit. But I think you can figure out how to do this here. So if you'll notice, I'm, the only thing, here's one side. Here's what the other flip-flop. I have to go from my D to my not Q. So that is my one, two, third pin to the very last. Okay, I will leave that green, just like the other one. And then I need to go over to my second LED with where's that coming from it's coming from the Q okay so my Q is the next to the last one here so I have to come from here to here and we'll change that back to red and then I've got to come from here I want to use the same ground so I'm going to go right there black and then I need to clock it so here's my clock 
And what I want to do, so here's the thing. If I want a, an, a down counter, I, my clock would come from my queue. Remember, to go down, um, to go up, you want it to be the opposite. And since these are not uh, falling edge, these are rising edge, th then these are the same. So the same goes down. Opposite goes up, our two piece. So if I wanted to go up, I would connect my clock, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to the not Q, right? Get it in there, right there. Pretty sure. <laughs> um, let's find out. So I start my simulation. Oh, we're going a little fast, hard to keep count. Let's slow it down. Zero, one, two, three, zero. So I'm counting zero to three. Okay. So if you followed along to here, then you're in pretty good shape. So what I would like you to do uh, first is I would like you to add, build this, then add, since I've got this here, all you got to do is, is just like this one. Basically, you can copy this kind of stuff here. But we want to light that third one up so it goes from 0 to 7. Now, in order to show me how this works, you have to upload to Canvas a video that I can watch. So I found, and I'm going to have to, a way, if, hopefully, if you have PowerPoint installed on your computer, you can do the, you can do the, screen recording which is what i'm doing right now if you're using office 365 you can't do that so instead instead what you can do is i found if you have a, a windows computer if you have a mac i don't know look it up and figure it out but i did find that on windows 10 if i hit the hold the windows key down and press g and i know you gamers already know all this stuff i get this thing here and oh, it doesn't show me the you can do capturing and so windows g there is a um you can do you can do that and start recording. I don't. Yeah, you can do it. I did it earlier. It's just I, I've got stuff. Uh, I think I got too many things running here at the same time. But you can do it. And if you Google, close all this stuff out. If you Google uh, how to record uh, with game, you can do that. And then what you would then do is when you upload you what you do is I'm not sure if I can show it to you or not here is when you go to here I am in canvas submitting this is where you'll assign submit assignment down here you can check the media box and Record, upload media. I don't think you get recording. Oh, that gets me. Um, but you can. Yeah, that does your camera. But you can select video file and upload it that way. And if you do this for me, please, then what it will do is it will. That's it right there. And I did it already. And what that will do, it will allow me to watch the videos in Canvas without having to download them. It makes it way easier for me, please. So that now watch what happens. When I go to my speed grader to grade it, I click this and it automatically moves it up. Okay, so that's what I would like you to do, please. All right, so that was a lot of information. This is probably a very long video, but what I, so what I want you to do is uh, connect this to get your third one, record a counting zero to seven, 
hang on to that because we might actually bring in a NAND gate and have you change the count. I'm not sure yet, but uh, good luck with that. Um, I'm still trying to figure out everything else, but uh, good luck.